everyone, it's Maggie, Just Enough Eyes. Today I wanted to do an Inglot Cosmetics haul. This is a really big haul. I have been restocking my professional makeup kit and Inglot I think is my favorite cosmetics brand. Like I think I can confidently say that I discovered them when I was 17 or 18 years old and I'm 31 now. I have loved purchasing their products. I the first order I ever made was a call to Montreal to purchase from their store and now they have an online store. I also worked at their store maybe five or six years ago before I went to school for makeup artistry and I've just always had such a love and passion for this brand and I love their products. So I've been restocking and they had Black Friday sales going on, 30% off plus some free gifts, and Inglot is so amazing. They sent me some extra goodies, which is so appreciative. Like, I am so appreciative of that. That's so amazing, and they know how much I love talking about their brand and showcasing their products. I always just wish more people, especially in Canada, knew about Inglot. Uh, it's so well known around the world, but in Canada, not as well known, and I think they have such a high standard quality of their products, and... A lot of the products as well, if I compare it to MAC Cosmetics, which a lot of Canadians are so much more aware of, I actually would choose Inglot over MAC uh, for their eyeshadows, their waterproof gel liners, they're incredible. Uh, also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I do post a lot more on there with looks and um, during October I posted a lot of really creative looks and I used so much of their gel liners to create those looks. So I do have a promo code just enough eyes to get 10% off of your orders in Canada, which is amazing. I think I would get a portion of the sale if you use that code. It's been quite a while, so I'm not 100% sure, but I do appreciate using the code and it gives you 10% off your purchase, which is amazing. So let's get into the haul. The first things are these Inglot eyeshadow palettes, the Makeup Artist Studio palettes, and these are a newer thing. This wasn't around when I worked at the store, and I saw these and I knew I needed to have them, especially for my professional makeup kit. So Inglot always has these really fancy, heavy, durable cases, and they're all magnetic, so your lids are going to pop right off you can stack palettes on top of each other. So I actually got both of them. You could actually just carry both of those and not carry the third um, piece to it. So that's good for your kit as well. But I absolutely love the design on these. I really like the style. You do get 12 shades per palette and each pan is actually a little bit bigger than MAC eyeshadows. So I wasn't sure when I ordered online, but these are really nice size beautiful shades. So this is a really nice uh, warm tone. I'm always a huge fan, especially of reds and plums. Everything from Inglot is so nice. Also, my eyes never feel like irritated when I use Inglot products, which is really great, especially if you're doing your makeup a lot, if you're working on clients, it does make a really big difference. And this is the Inglot Naturals. So I used this one to make my eyeshadow look today, although I did add a little bit of purple that I will be showing you. Absolutely stunning. You get really nice light to dark shades. You get mattes, you get some shimmers. They're absolutely stunning, very pigmented. I always love Inglot's eyeshadows for how creamy they are, how pigmented they are. They're absolutely amazing. And then I just love their whole freedom style products. So they are magnetic, same thing as the large eyeshadows. And I've got like two big ones that I'm going to be refilling. Um, so that's a great thing. Like these palettes are 10 years old now and I was able to sanitize them with alcohol and get them ready to restock with new shades. Now I did order online, I made two orders and I actually got two of the same purple eyeshadow that I was really drawn to. Um, these are the first 10 shades that I picked out and I do have another order coming. So I did end up getting 11 colors in my next order to replace one of these purples, which I'll definitely still use the purples and that's the color that I actually added to my crease to brighten up the look. Um, I probably will go through all the shades when I have all 20 together and then go through what numbers they all are. 
And then I got more blushes and contour products. So this is another Freedom System palette where you can put those in. And I'll put the numbers for that down below. So I got a matte peachy shade. This one has a bit of a shine to it. These ones are contour shades. And then once again, you can stack those palettes on top of each other. So really great for your kit as well. And these palettes are just really nice and durable. Uh, the lip gloss I have on now is the Inglot Me Like Volumizing Lip Gloss in the shade Bramble. You can also never go wrong with Inglot pigments. They are so creamy, so pigmented. They have a really nice reflect. Some of them are duochrome as well, so they shift in the light, which is really great. So this one is the Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in number 81, which is a red with a bit of a gold shift. This next one is shade 35. This is a really cool toned purple and it has a really nice kind of silver, a little bit gold shift to it. And then 151 is a light pink purple with also that kind of white gold shift to it. I purchased a ton of their AMC eyeliner gels. These are my absolute favorite eyeliner of all time. They are completely waterproof, opaque. I use them as eyeshadow bases even to start off my eyeshadow looks. They last all day. They are great in the waterline. Uh, I would just avoid kind of reds and like the plum I'm about to show in the waterline. Although I have done looks with it, it looks amazing. Uh, I just wouldn't recommend that one inside the eye. It can be a little uncomfortable. But this is the shade 64. That's what I used for my upper winged liner today. I don't think I'll open all them, it'll take quite a while, but I'll probably do a full review on these again and showcase the colors. This one is shade 61, which is a really nice cool toned lilac. I got the True Red, which is 79. I love this for Halloween looks, anything bold, um, absolutely amazing. This True Blue is shade 67. Which is my hair color. I love that one. I get so many compliments when I wear it. Number 89 is this cool toned brown gray and that's what I have in my waterline today. Really nice for cool toned makeup looks. I purchased another shade 77 which is the classic black. It is such a pigmented black, super intense. I absolutely love that. Number 86 is a really nice forest green. The white one is shade 76, and this lime green is shade 62. So I absolutely love these. I use them on a brush to apply. I wear them in my waterline. I wear them for winged liner, a graphic liner, um, also for really bold like painted looks that I do. These kind of act like an acrylic paint. They're super opaque, completely waterproof, great for all day wear, highly recommend. So love those. And Inglot was so kind to send me their whole collection of the Inglot Play-In Liners. These are so amazing. I really love them. They are smaller than the full-size AMC liners. So you do get 5.5 grams in the large one and 2 grams in the minis. I kind of like that though because a main thing that I find is you don't usually go through a full container. Um, you get so much product and a little bit goes a long way. These are also nice to like put in your kit, nice and petite, and you get a huge range of color. These are all eight pastel shades that are absolutely stunning. It's kind of like that Easter vibe and they're really opaque. They work amazing. A great pop of color. So I'll just quickly go through those. The pink one is called Millennial Pink. The orange one is Mandarin Crush. The yellow is called Yellow Flow. The green one is Electric Green. There's like an aqua shade called Cool Mint. The cool tone blue is Feelin' Blue. Then there's Call Me Perry. And this cool tone purple is Violet Vibe. 
I will also mention the Inglot Duraline, which is this little dropper of silicone polymer. So you can actually mix that into your gel liner to extend the life. Um, over time, they can dry out a little bit as all gel products on the market. It's a great way to rehydrate them without compromising the quality of the product. You can also mix that with any pigment or eyeshadow to create your own liquid liner or cream opaque product. So absolutely recommend that. They also have bundles with the Duraline and a gel eyeliner and a brush. So there's definitely great options if you're purchasing Duraline. Uh, next is the Soap Brow by Inglot. So I sent this as well, the Inglot Play-In. This is a really nice tin and a lot of product in there. My brows, I keep them quite short, so I don't generally do that. But uh, brow lamination, if that's the look you're going for, that would be a good product. They sent the Inglot Liquid Face Blush. This is a really nice product I used to use. I love the pump on there. This one is the shade 92. It's a really beautiful coral, and I know this will be amazing for my kit for all skin tones, especially medium, some deeper skin tones. It has some great pigmentation and a really great look to the skin. They had great deals as well that when you were purchasing certain amounts, you got to pick free products. So I wanted to try their all covered concealer. This is the shade 110. So not my shade, but perfect for my kit. Got a nice doe foot applicator on that one. And this should be a full coverage concealer. I wanted to repurchase the One Move Liquid Eyeliner. I really love this. I already went through one of them. They last a really long time. It's waterproof. You have a very precise brush to it. That's a fine tip. Uh, brush tip not felt. They also had the Inglot perfect finish loose powder on as a free gift and this is a massive loose powder. I remember these at the store. They're 23 grams of product and this is X SXL3 I think is the shade so it's kind of a medium toned color. Once again great for makeup artistry. And they also gifted me these, which I have never tried before, the Inglot Starlight Stick Highlighter. And I believe these were a year or two um, older in a collection. So this is called Stargazing 203. It's a really nice, deeper, kind of bronze highlighter, super pigmented and creamy. And I used these two on my look today. So this is the Shooting Star 201, which is great for my skin tone quite a bit lighter, super iridescent and creamy. And then this is a blush, Jupiter 303. Really pigmented, I used that on my cheeks today. Absolutely love that one. And then I have this palette. This is the Inglot Flexi Eco Palette. This is made of bamboo. It still has that magnetic opening and I just love how you can customize all of these palettes. So these two shades here are the eyeshadow rainbow. So you get three different shades. Uh, this is 122, which is a nice warm shimmery brown. And then this one is 124, which is some nice red tones. And then I purchased a contouring shade. This is 504, which is really good for fair skin. It's a very cool tone contour shade that really looks like a natural shadow. And then this is the HD highlighter in 153, which is really nice. I put that over the shadow stick today to get a really iridescent highlight. Absolutely love. And yeah, as you can see, these are all magnetic. You fill them however you like. You could do like four contours. You could do eight eyeshadows. Super cute. And really, I don't think any other brands have such a wide array of freedom systems, different palettes available, different ways of building them. So that was my Inglot Cosmetics haul. I did purchase a lot of products. I really took advantage of the discount available. They do also have a pro membership 
uh, I think it's $50 for the year and you get 30% off all of their cosmetics and I think 20% off accessories. So that's also a great option that I might consider as well. That's my haul. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's any products you'd like to see a review on or anything you're more interested in seeing. That would be great. This is more of a quick overview and I do have more products coming in the mail as well. I did purchase more products so I should be filming that as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.